It's crazy what this this thing could do for you. Like, you know, this is the topic of discussion right here because basketball has led to so many of my opportunities. You know, if I never played basketball, I wouldn't have gone to Philippines and Medjayar in the first place, you know? And um, from my experience, life is really a butterfly effect. Meaning, if you guys don't know what butterfly effect means, that it doesn't matter what happens. Like, things can alter your whole life, you know? Even if it's just one little thing. I just want, at the end of this, for everybody here to, to leave here with a little bit more confidence in themselves. To realize that the future isn't as scary as people like portray it to be. I just want to tell you a little bit about myself and my journey and how I became a professional basketball player. Um, it was not easy at all. I was actually in most of your guys' shoes. I didn't start playing basketball until I would say 15, 15, 16 years old. I was, I was, that's a late bloomer to some people. I didn't play high school basketball. I played maybe all of one season of high school basketball. I didn't play much, and that was because of my grades. Um, you know, I'm not ashamed of it now. It's so far in the past, but that really, talking about butterfly effect, me not doing well in high school kind of led to the road to a much harder road to becoming a professional basketball player. I wanna preach about how important education is. And uh, and you guys, education is, is so key, knowledge is power. The more you learn, the more you could you could grow, the more you could offer to this, this society, to the world. And basketball is one small thing that it goes hand in hand almost. You know, if, if you do well in school, if you're good at basketball, you could get, you could go to school for free. You know, plain and simple, you could get a scholarship. And if that's a goal of yours, work hard at it work tirelessly at it keep on going you know so I started in high school wasn't able to to play and uh but what gave me a chance was I used to play like JR said I used to play a lot of Filipino basketball um like not a community centers men's league things like that of, of, of that nature and that's where I was able to to play and, and grow and, and work on my game and that's what I had I had the dream in mind and I went down to Florida um like I said with what what didn't would what happened with me is that I wasn't able to play Division One basketball is because of my grades. So something that happened in the past hindered me from moving up in the basketball first. So that's something that I want to tell you guys, don't let that happen to you because it's not fun. Um, if you have the ability, if you guys have good grades and if you're able to get a scholarship, by all means, go do it. So I was in Florida and that's when I went from Florida to Philippines. And Philippines was a whole different experience on its own. Um, I was away from my family. I, I had a dream with of becoming a professional basketball player because I knew this was possible. And um, I just I just did it. I, I was working at home. I was working at a Wimpy's. You guys know what Wimpy's Diner is? Yeah. yeah. I was working at Wimpy. I was washing dishes. Oh, we have one of those, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was washing dishes after I came back. After I, like my dream was crushed. Oh, I can't go to play Division One. Damn. Um, so I was just working. I was working full time, uh, doing what I, what I can, little odd jobs. Um, and then... After a while, I was just like, man, this is not, this is not fulfilling to me. Like, life is very long, and do you want to do this for a very long time? No, you want to enjoy life. So I, I said at that moment, you know, I'm taking this basketball, I'm taking it halfway across the world, and I'm going to see what happens. Luckily, it, it all worked out. Now, I know this is just going to be fact that not everybody here is going to play Division One basketball and make it to the NBA and stuff like that. But also, that's not a bad thing at all. Basketball will teach you so much about yourself. You'll learn how to work within the teams. You'll learn how to work with people. That translates well into everyday life and once you get older. Um, basketball will teach you that. Basketball will teach you hard work. Basketball will teach you discipline. I, I had an awful second season in college in the Philippines and I didn't even think I was gonna get drafted at, at some points. And um, you know, that's where you leave things up to just, just faith in the universe and God and just you know let things happen. So I entered my name in the draft and, and uh, like Jarrah said, I, I mean, I'm not saying it was luck. I did work for it, and I believed in myself that I was um, able to be a top five pick. Number four overall pick belongs to Ginebra San Miguel. And Ginebra San Miguel selects James Forrester. So yeah, I did it. I got drafted, and it was almost a dream come true. But having said that, you know, dreams come true, but then there's so much more work to be done. You know, I was, I was a professional basketball player, but then what? Now it was up to me to, you know, get even, you know, get to another level to become a better basketball player, so I could I could do something in the PBA. So that's where I learned a lot of hard work. You you have to keep on going. You have to. It doesn't matter how younger you are, how good you are. You have to keep working until you finally get there, and and, and it takes a long time. Um, so four years passed in the PBA. I played one year in Taiwan, one season, and 
I didn't even finish the season actually. I played two games, and along that, that's when I ruptured my Achilles. And and here I am, almost essentially like three months has passed since the surgery, but uh, but here I am. And honestly, it's it's really cool to to come in and share my my story with you guys. If you guys have a dream, if you guys want to pursue basketball, go for it. Um, and honestly, it's a cliche thing to say, but, you know, shoot for the moon, because if you miss, you'll end up in the stars. If you practice and if you grind like you want to make the NBA, nothing but good things will happen. Or if you want to make the WNBA, nothing but good things will happen along the way. The key thing is, is hard work and confidence, guys. I want to preach that as much as possible, because without those two things, um, it is, it's, it's difficult to be successful.